Hi and welcome to Excel VBA tutorial of how to calculate taxable income. This tutorial is actually at the request of this guy here. Let me show you his email. There we go. Okay, you want me to I believe you guys can see it. If the wages is between two hundred and fifty, that will be taxable income will be zero. If it's two fifty to three seventy, taxable income will be twenty percent. Three seventy to four fifty, that will be thirty percent, and four fifty will be four fifty and above will be thirty five percent. So that is what this guy would like me to put into practice. So let me show you guys how this works. If I click on reset, there we go. We can enter the company's name. Let's say it's Wells Aviations. Right. And the name, let's say it's Captain. Captain Paul. Cool. And taxable income. Let's assume taxable income for that week is about one thousand one hundred and fifty. That's the taxable income for that week. And we also need to enter the tax period. And here we enter the tax code. Ni number. and an i code there we go so we just need to do nice to click on taxable income and there and this is also added straight onto the spreadsheet so let me show you guys the spreadsheet and we we'll click on it again there we go that's captain paul if i click again look at that is adding all of the information straight onto the spreadsheet okay so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Excel VBA development environment and we'll put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. And welcome back to Excel VBA taxable income tutorial. If you don't have this developer menu right there, all you need to do is to go to file. Let's select file and select options and right here on these Excel options select customize ribbon and make sure you check the developer tab make sure it's checked and you click on OK there then you should be able to see your developer tab there and that's for those of you who are new beginners so click on the developer tab and that's your VBA there or you can always press Alt F11 Okay, click on that and right there that is your insert so click on insert and let's add user form there we go now that the user form is added I'm now going to define the size of this user form the height I'm going to make that 800 and the width I'm going to make that 1024 there we go now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a frame right here let's click on that and let's just add a frame here I have one frame there and I'm going to add another frame right underneath here and another one there that's all okay now delete the content on each frames so come to wherever the name is there we go it's on the caption so get rid of that and i'm going to get rid of this as well and this there this very frame i'm going to change the back color to green select palette make that green and i now need a label that's it paste it right there change the color of that very the font color of that label to something bright and let's enter some data in there so I'm just going to enter how to calculate taxable 
income. Now let's increase the font size of this very label. Come straight away, we have the font and just increase that to something a little bit readable. Maybe 36 bold right there, just like that. Okay, that is fine. So the next thing we want to do now is to add labels here, text box. Let's add text box here, and I'm going to just kind of like copy that across. There we go. And I need four of these here. There. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to speed up the design of the whole interface. But here I'm going to need some buttons, I need three of those. So we'll just speed that up and I'll get back to you guys shortly. And right there guys, this is how my interface looks right now, but nothing is happening. Okay, so let's close this. Now add a zero here the text content here okay the next thing I like to do is you see I want to enter some data in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the spreadsheet here and I'm going to create another one because I'm going to need two so spreadsheet number two I'm just going to call that let's say let's call it wages right Okay, so all right, let's just say taxable income. Income. And right underneath here, the first one will be let's go for two fifty. And here this will be so let's say equals click on the 250 we have in there and let's add another 50 and press enter so we can just drag it along right there that's fine so we can go up to yeah that's that's all right it's just the wages per week so I'm now going to select all of these and I will then give the selection a name okay in here I'll just call that wages and make sure as soon as you enter the name press enter there we go right let's go back to the VBA come back in here and let's select the combo box you see the visitor combo box now we now look for rule source in there so the name if you guys can still recall the name or wages that is it right there enter that in there and press enter and that's all the rest of it so if I run it all of those data should that's it you guys should be able to see it you see that those are the weekly wages depending on whatever your occupation is all right that's all that's taken care of so let's try and take care of exit then uh, we we'll take it from there so double click on the exit and right there we're going to enter the following lines of codes that is for the exit so if I run it now and click on exit there we go confirm if you want to exit no confirm if you want to exit yes okay that's taken care of so let's take care of that of reset so I want to reset all of these so double click on reset Okay, in the case of reset, I'm going to declare some variables. Let me come up here and say dim txt, and I'm going to declare another one dim txt with an s. Okay, then I will also declare another one dim. Let's call that qs double. Right, and come back to the reset. Right inside the reset, there I will use a for loop for each txt in that will be frame number one frame one dot control that's controls 
and I would then say if the type type of txt is ms form Microsoft forms dot text then txt dot text equals clear and we just need to nest and if and then get it nested and that's the first one taken care of so which means if I run these lines of code now and I think this is the first one whatever I enter here will be deleted okay let's come back in here and just copy this paste it there and just change this to T change it to S yeah text that's for the next one and that is going to be frame 10 so scroll right down and I also need to to reset the combo box combo box one dot text and let's change that to zero okay right that's fine the one thing I like to do now is you see the let's move that up a little bit the the reference let me add something for the reference it's called pay reference um, dot caption and I'm going to let's say evaluate as follows so let's say random number random between I'm just gonna make up some value in there that will be used as my reference number so let's say to yeah something like that okay all right then let's close that and close so that's for my random number the other one is let let me clear the the following txc text uh tax paid dot caption equals there and the other one that would be for gross pay let's say lbl gross pay dot caption paste that and lbl delete you know deduction deductions and finally lbl net pay there okay that's my that's the reset so let me copy this and i'm going to now come in here select the form itself let's look for the form or oh, let's go back and just double click on the form itself i want the form to initialize as follows come right down get the form so that it's visible for you guys to see there we go and here let's say initialize so when I run the form when I run the program I want the following to be displayed on the form there so that's so let's run it now when I run it that's it the the reference is added immediately and I can always reset. Let's assume there's a value in here. Click on reset and enter whatever in here. There we go. You see that? And that resets itself as well. Okay, so reset that is fine. Okay, exit and reset is fine. So we now need to take care of the taxable income itself. Right but before then I would like to 
add the date so and I want the date to be initialized as well by the form initialize or user form initialize so I'm going to enter LDL date dot caption and that is equals format and that will be date let's say date comma and let's go for the meet date and hopefully that should take care of the date so if I run it now we should be able to see the date you see we have the date we have the we have the reference number so with that for now I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly